the NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion, Kevin Douglas. Kevin, uh, first of all, how are you doing, man? Doing great. Uh, I'm so happy. Uh, this show, I, I had such a good time tonight. Uh, the show's finally wrapping up. The, uh, the great producer, Rod Dovlin, walks by, and I feel like I've had a brush with fame. <laughs> um, I, I've had a great time. Uh, this kind of is the end of a little bit of a swing for me from... Uh, Really, from being like you said in West Virginia and uh, New Jersey, and all the way back uh, back here to California, even making a few stops in Texas. Finally, uh, I'll be making my way back to Texas, and uh, maybe I get a couple of days off for once. But uh, actually, even after this, superhero duty never sleeps. I have uh, another arrangement after this, but it's kind of a covert type thing, so I can't actually discuss it on here. Now, you, you kind of brought it up the past about week and a half, two weeks. You've been in West Virginia working with NWA uh, Mountain State. You were in Tennessee working with NWA Smoky Mountain. Uh, you were in New Jersey working with NWA Dog. Uh, you're, you're getting ready to head back to Texas and I'm sure get some uh, more matches in NWA Houston and uh, NWA Top of Texas. What do you think of uh, the guys, your detractors, who say maybe that you're not, you're not doing enough oh, as um, world champion? That's funny. Um, well, I actually haven't gotten to wrestle in uh, NWA Smoky Mountain yet. Oh. Uh, August 4th, this is a little foreshadowing to, the, to what we're talking about. Uh, August 4th, I will be wrestling Chase Owens uh, in front of his home fans uh, for the World Junior Heavyweight title in Smoky Mountain. I was actually wrestled for Mount, NWA Mountain State twice. Uh, I know Matt Connor came on your, uh, your, bot, your radio show not too long ago, and I didn't actually listen to it. Uh, but I will say this, uh, without even having to talk to Matt Connor, he, he kind of lost his opportunity to, to wrestle me for his title on that Friday. Uh, I ended up wrestling Chase to a 30-minute draw. And uh, in what I think anybody, anybody uh, would uh, watch that match and say that's what professional wrestling should look like. And uh, Matt Connor uh, was supposed to be there. So I think uh, big, big props to Chase Owens for stepping up and... Uh, and really showed me something about uh, him and in my mind put him in the level with the Nick Madrids and the Johnny Yumas and the Derek Neals. And uh, so you're back here, you, you worked your match tonight with Johnny Yuma, your thoughts again working with uh, a very talented Johnny Yuma? Um, Johnny, it's like man I get so excited uh, when I know when I found out I was going to be wrestling to him. Um, we, we definitely don't necessarily get along character wise but man in the ring we just have a a thing and I know he's a big time wrestler and he's always up for the big match and uh, I think uh, I think that's why he's getting the chance at the title because he's a big match wrestler and he is a natural man very much like uh, a Nick Madrid you know just he gets in the ring and everything he does is right and uh, I have a lot of respect for Johnny Yuma uh, as a wrestler but also you know I'm the champion and I'm gonna kick his ass like I kick anybody else's ass speaking of kicking ass and speaking of August 4th, and speaking of NWA Smoky Mountain, and speaking of detractors, and I'm going to outright and say, I've heard a little information off, uh, off microphone, uh, but I would like to kind of iterate it on the microphone because I didn't even know that people were talking about me and my title reign and, and not doing enough. Uh, what, what exactly, is there any specific names you're talking about? Well, there is a, the tornado, Tony Cozina, former NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion, uh, a couple of times has taken to Twitter uh, talking about team ambition and training to be the best and made sure to uh, call you out by name um, saying that you don't deserve to be champion, uh, that uh, basically calling you a fraud. I mean, you know, Tony Cozina. I didn't know who Tony Cozina was until I actually uh, found out I was, might be wrestling against him in that tournament. Uh, when I looked up the uh, NWA champions and uh, looked who the former champions were and I found out his name was in there and all that, I, you know, I, I researched him, I watched his matches and uh, honestly, I don't, know, I don't know where he really gets off talking about me at all. Uh, I don't view him on my level. Uh, thank you very much. And Tony, if you're listening, you're not. Uh, your buddy Davey maybe has a shot. But uh, you guys, you know, you talk about team ambition you're, and frauds. I'm original. I'm not running around like a wannabe MMA fighter. I'm a pro wrestler. I'm not pretending like what I do is what they do in a cage match. I'm not tweeting about all the crap that I do that makes me like an MMA fighter. Tony, Davey Richards, Team Ambition. It's nice. It's a cool thing what you're trying to do. I appreciate the athleticism aspect of what you're trying to cover. But you're not professional wrestlers to me.
Yeah, I said that. You're not. Just because you get in the ring and you do a bunch of acrobatic stuff or you may kick somebody in the face as hard as you can, that doesn't make you a professional wrestler. And just because your fans may like that and you may get a couple of oohs and you may get a couple of ahs, the fact is it's not the art. It's not what I grew up watching. It's not what I grew up wanting to aspire to be like. When I watch your matches, I get bored. It's not entertaining to me. Nothing, nothing about your character means a damn thing. Tony Cozina, the reason you're not anywhere, buddy, is because you don't have any character. You're boring. You look like I used to look in 2001. You too, Davey Richards. Get some personality. Learn to work a microphone. You can talk about me and what I do in the ring, out of the ring, but the fact is, is I'm pushing into realms that you guys don't know anything about. Cut a promo that's actually entertaining. So if you want to criticize me, that's fine. You can criticize me all you want. But neither one of you punks have ever stepped in the ring with me. And until you do that, you really have nothing to say. And if you do get the chance to step in the ring with me, any promoter can book it. You can run your shoot fighter crap all you want to. I was a shoot fighter before. I don't need to play that card. I'm a professional wrestler. I'm an athlete. I'm entertaining. I can talk the talk. I can talk the talk. I can walk the walk. And with a microphone or in a ring, I will eat your ass alive. And you want to come kick people in the face hard? Kick me in the face hard. I'll play your little bull crap game, your little wannabe shooter game. And then I'll go out pro wrestle you just like I did Daniel Bryan. And show you what entertainment, what professional wrestling, what the art of professional wrestling is. I'll show either one of you punk asses. Because you show me nothing that makes me want to be like you at all. I'm so proud to be the modern day hero, Kevin Douglas. That's all I've got to really say about all that. Any more questions? How about, how about we talk about some of the real wrestlers? Chase Owens. Chase Owens is a professional wrestler. I watched, the only match I've ever watched of Davey Richards was wrestling Chase Owens because Chase Owens is a natural. He is what his name says, the real deal. He is an entertainer, a wrestler. He can cut a promo. He's what you guys wish you could be. The reason you guys are coming to the NWA is because we're the baddest dudes on the planet and the best crap's going is going with us. The reason you're fighting Chase Owens and the Kincaid guy is because we're better than you, we're getting attention, and you just want the rub. We're the hot thing, not you. You're yesterday's news. You're not anybody's little boy crush anymore. Now you've come into the land of real men. Nick Madrid, real man. Johnny Yuma, real men. Guys that I get in there and I know they're professional wrestlers. The rest of those guys, man, you, can, you, you lost my respect immediately by talking about me without ever talking to me. And I've watched your crap and you, you want to cut someone down or you want to criticize someone, I'm very good at that. So I really look forward to a play of words, trash talking, wrestling, the whole nine yards. And when it's all said and done, the best professional wrestlers and the best entertainers, wrestlers, athletes, all of the above, the best artists. You suck, Mighty Mouth. You see that, dude? I can't even cut a promo without the fans getting involved. You hear that? I can't even get on a little radio deal without the fans being involved and that tells you exactly what I do as far as touching the audience and having just a good time. So anyhow, J. Cal, that was fun. I can talk a little trash. I can have a little fun. I'm getting ready to, uh, to go to some, uh, do some little extracurricular movie work out here while I'm in Hollywood. Oh. We're going to end the interview right there. Good luck, bud. <laughs> <laughs>